The magic wand and paint selection tool let you quickly select areas of similar color. Let's try the magic wand first. When I click and drag over the sky here, the magic wand will select more and more of the area as I drag and the tolerance increases. The tolerance is referring to how much range of color the magic wand is going to select. So once I get out to about 43%, all the blue in the sky has fallen under the range of the magic wand. Release and I have a great selection of the sky around the balloon. If I do this again and keep going, eventually all the colors in the balloon will be selected as the tolerance increases and the entire image will be one selection. I can also use the magic wand to select certain colored rectangles within the balloon. I'll try to select these four green panels. I'm going to hold the shift button to add to the first selection. If the magic wand selection leaks out to the rest of the balloon before selecting the green panel I want, I can stop the current selection just before it leaks out. Then add to that selection from a different spot in the panel that I want to select. This changes the color range slightly and will let me get just the green panel, not anything else. With those selected, I can put them on their own layer and use a color adjustment like Colorize to change them from green to blue. I could also probably get the entire balloon selected using the magic wand if I wanted. But it tends to end up leaking out into the sky unless I'm really, really careful. If I use the paint selection tool though, I won't need to worry about that. The paint selection tool is similar to the magic wand, but it won't as easily expand its selection beyond where you are painting with it. This makes it better for selecting objects with several colors than the magic wand. So let's try selecting the balloon with the paint selection tool. First, notice that I can change the size of my brush here in tool options. In the action menu here, I can also select to smooth edges, which will automatically make the selection less jagged. I usually keep this on unless I want a super exact selection. Turn on sample all layers if you want to select areas of multiple layers. In this case, I'm only using one layer, so I'll keep that off. Now as I click and drag in the balloon, Sections of color are selected near where I'm painting, but not out into the sky area. Change the size of the brush to get the more detailed areas like here in the basket. If I wanted to get rid of the sky areas that are selected behind the people here and in the openings of the balloon, I'll switch back to the magic wand and use it to subtract the sky areas from the selection.
Now I have the balloon selected, and I'll copy and paste it into its own layer. I can add a new layer behind it, and you can see that selecting it using a combination of the paint selection tool and the magic wand worked really well.